Princess underscore Gummy underscore Bear says, Welcome to Chapter 2 of Tell Me Why Prince 1626 Love Gif. Welcome everybody, welcome to the next chapter of Tell Me Why, as you guys can see, my Xbox is just, you know, connecting real quick, hopefully it doesn't take too long, <laughs> I forgot I had to connect beforehand, but welcome back to chapter 2, I wonder what's gonna happen this episode based off how it ended last time, well, last night basically, with the Mad Hunter, like what the fuck, I wasn't expecting it. But eh, I really like this game so far. It's so fucking pretty. I love the fact that they chose Alaska for it as well. Like, ah, oh, so fucking beautiful. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's continue, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, wait, the music. Whoops. There we go. All right. Let's continue this beautiful game. Like the title says. Is the Mad Hunter after our booty? Because <laughs> it feels like it. Motherfucker following us all of a sudden. And I told you guys last time, I have a feeling this is going to be some creepy Once shit. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Us? Yeah. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Oh, the children's story. Blamed oh! for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, or his sister had to stay behind. Oh, our sister was the one that killed our mom, if you guys didn't see the previous episode. And we, the brother, took the blame for Ten it. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Yes. <laughs> Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. Oh, they're all grown up and they want to forget the past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Whoa. <laughs> This is gonna be so cool! Oh shit. It's already creepy. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Shut then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> Oh. All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Ooh, delicious. Eat up. It looks like mint. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. It and that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure, and her title. 
I don't like that story. Oh, whoa. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Oh. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. You better, you little I shit. Love you too. <laughs> Sleep well and dream, my doves. What's up? Why is she? L Why is Allison looking at her mom like that? Ollie. Ollie is Taylor, Ollie? by the way, guys. Tyler. I mean, sorry. That was like his nickname when they were kids. Before he transitioned um, into a man. Ice Please. cream. No! Allison! Ollie! Allison, help! Oh, shit. This is the night, guys. Oh, my God. Spooky. I wonder when we're gonna see the Mad Hunter again. He seems to be almost like a driving force, I think. Like possession thing. Oh shit. Bye bye mom. She had to live with it all these years. I killed mom. I killed her. Tell me why. Chapter two. Family secrets. Ooh, family secrets. I'm curious what secrets were there. Oh my god. Oh, and it's perfect weather where I am, where I am living. It's raining and it's cloudy, it's nice and dark, it's nice and cold. All the memories, the sparkles that you guys still see. It's the same boots. from each other. <laughs> Are they really playing hide and seek as adults now? Like reliving the memory? A bitch. <laughs> All the good memories. Oh. 
What picture is that? Oh, the two of them? <laughs> Get back here. gonna figure out the truth <laughs> was mom actually supporting us or was she just trying hey. to understand us you doing all right i thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives you know but did it open one instead but instead we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy The mom probably had some kind okay. of feeling. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor is a great way to forget your troubles. <laughs> Come on, let's uh, go work. Can't forget we just about have your problems. Instead? No, on your feet, soldier. On your feet. Man, I almost let's forgot how pretty this game is. And sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, why? I'll drive you into town and buy Tell you a gallon of ice cream. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's oh my god. <laughs> that, was that a deal or not? <laughs> uh, mom's room? Trash. <laughs> oh. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning. All but right. I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> All right. Hello, Anything? ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. We're gonna trash it. Because it doesn't work anyway. And this? Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, 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 and more stuff. <laughs> Mary and the magpie. Oh, the pictures. Do you have nothing to say about it? We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Let's see. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Fair enough, we could clean it up. Maybe someone could clean it up? It's well made. Your call. Let's keep it. Keeping it. You can just clean it up, you know? What's all those? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, let's smell. Oh. Ew, ew, ew. All right, all right. Sarah. <laughs> oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Put it away. <laughs> Say, ah. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Is that all? <clears throat> the dress? Why not take the dress? Hey, look. There's still some teepee. Oh, well, they live. They probably live here. So, of course, they fucking need teepee. Fuck am I talking about? The book? Dumping cake? Cherries, pineapple, chopped walnuts, flour, salt, sugar, baking powder, butter. Mix the cherries and pineapple, sprinkle cake mix over pineapple and cherry mixture and sprinkle walnuts over the top. Bacon 350 degrees Fahrenheit, oven for 35 or 40 minutes or until golden brown every day. Please, mom. <laughs> salmon patties, salmon casserole, salmon chowder, halibut chowder, crab cakes. Oh, sounds like they had a pretty healthy ish. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We yes. are not moving the oven. Why not? <laughs> This? <laughs> the refrigerator? We're gonna keep it here? You hungry? 
We There's nothing in there. A whole lot of nothing. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Why'd you remind me? No pickles? Ketchup, maybe? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Looks <laughs> yeah. like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. It's fucking this ancient. This is the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Oh my god, mm. what the fuck? <laughs> so good. No, that sounds crazy. Mm. But don't knock Family until you try it. Lovely chairs. Keep trash or sell. We can try and sell it. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. True, true, true. We can try and sell them. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? What's that smell? Oh, shit. Memory! Oh, what's that smell? It smells like delicious garbage. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> oh, they're so mean. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Aw. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Hmm. That's adorable. Man, I want more games like these. Don't nudge really make a lot more Allison, games. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Wait, can we go in mom's room? No, everything's trash. All right. <clears throat> the table looks nice. What to do with this? We can keep it. Tables are expensive. And, and it besides, looks okay. This one's an Allison and Tyler original. Look under. Oh, the carpet? Oh, <gasps> collectible. Hell What's yeah. What's down here? Is that gum? No, it's not gum. Uh, Goblins are right here. Alright. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's listen to the collectible. The big frog. The big frog is an effervescent creature who tries to be kind, but is also a tireless gossip. The Ice King punished her once by telling her his deepest secret. If she ever tells anyone, she'll lose her voice forever. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And like they said, she likes gossiping. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor a vole? Volcano. She was oh. in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Oh. <clears throat> lasagna! Lasagna! Ooh, lasagna! Yes! Thank you. No, give me lasagna. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I want lasagna. From the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Hmm. You're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. You don't like corn? Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. She probably went through some shit as well. The photo. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. I don't want them. They're happy memories. Just keep them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. We should keep them. They're photos that you guys keep are never going to have again. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... Don't worry. I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Don't Didn't feel think a weird. Could throw me like this anymore. The therapy. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Yeah. That sounds really rough. Yeah. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better, but I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more <laughs> putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. Yeah, we're gonna be the best Thanks. sister ever. Support your brother. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Yes, I agree. And this one? What? I wonder who our dad is, by the way. Oh, oh man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Another memory? Where's this one? Come on, honey, smile like Allison. You hold up your fish. It's not my Aww. fish anymore. Allison stole it. How did she steal it? <coughs> Aww. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. <laughs> was I though? <laughs> yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Oh. Bro. Ugh. That's a nasty carpet. Gross. Uh, what happened? <clears throat> Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid <laughs> the stain with my toys. Forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. <laughs> I was scared. I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? <laughs> no. no. I remember her saying that, that sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen. And that it wasn't a big deal. But still, no more tea parties inside. Yeah, it'll be better that way. Oh, they they lit the fire. Oh, sorry, Tyler. Ready now. Take your time. Oh, they're cleaning He's the fish. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Aww. Allison, <clears throat> when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. Mm -mm. Yeah, sure. Right. I was kind of being brat. You think? <laughs> Aww. Everybody makes mistakes. Well, you gonna clean off the coffee table? Fine. Fine, clean freak. It's gonna leave a stain. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, Seriously? I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table. Yeah. Why not? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm oh not my really God. planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. Look, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, I know I'm being a fucking kid, bro. <laughs> All right, let's clean up the soda and candies. I really like that armchair. For your forest check? You like for your forest check? It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. <laughs> but I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Oh my god. Fine. Wait. Fine. You can keep it. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Oh, that one. Yeah, that lo that one looks fine. Did I clean the top coffee table? And finally. That I hate one? to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No no. Just here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. No, fudge that. I want to do more of this. Move. <laughs> oh. Let's join up, bro. Starting the fire again? Yeah, 
I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Choose tea or coffee. Let's oh, go with tea. Gray or chai. Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. You're wow, gonna nice take Papa coffee? Wakey, wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh. Did you hear that? I did. The Ice King is sending us a warning. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, where's the memory? Are those the goblins? Hehe, <laughs> that's us. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating. But he's always fair and never mean. Oh yeah, he, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead. Great yes. Idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Aww. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. Are the binder? Can we go look at the binder? <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. Many hours into that book. Yeah, her binder was. That's a nice face. Whoops. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to check. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Come check this out. Oh, he checked the binder before me. Allison's first drafts. <laughs> right. The ice king. I didn't contribute at all. Come on, I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. Always keep your you know kids' face. out of ourselves as the goblins? They're gonna be perfect memories. Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, you guys are only yeah. realizing that now? She calls her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods in this house until we showed up. She was, alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Figuring out who the friends are, probably. Research. Yeah. So if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on, humor me. Oh. Three people, Tessa, Eddie, and who the fuck is the last one? Eddie! Hmm, Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, I but think that's Tessa. Swap those two oh, here. Tessa is the pelican because she always gave food. Uh, who was the bear again? Uh, the princess had a very good time. All right. We have the moose, the bear. Wait, was it the moose? The moose, the bear, and the pelican. But Pe I'd say Tessa is the pelican because she always gave us food. She was always generous. Who was the, the moose has a, had arranged after clouds fall the sky? Oh, with lights. All right. And the bear protected us. I'd say that's correct. Show the Tyler. Right. I think I'm done. You sure? On second thought. On second thought. Let me just give it a once over. Was that middle person? I can't see. Sam and Eddie. You done? <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one, 
Too bad the oh, logs yeah, and Eddie was the cop. I forgot. Yeah. So, Eddie is the middle one. Sam was the bear because he protected us like the raccoon. The bear was the most helpful one. He was yeah. always around. Stalking yeah, that's her. Sam. What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. But helping. Not like he did anything bad, you know? And the pelican was always generous, which was Tessa. Mm. No, 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 no. This Whoops. One. No, change it back. Yeah. I think of him done. This time I've got it. We'll see. Definitely. I think How I have like it. Them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, over here. Totally Marianne. Why yeah. a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. <laughs> this these one? specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. Oh, my God. Indubitably. But who's the mad hunter? Oh my god, he's so creepy! Oh. You better hurry Who are they? The will catch us. We need to hide. This way. Run! Uh oh. What's Mad Hunter on? is here. I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. He 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 he. For the bitch comes. Oh my god, he's so fucking creepy. How could children think of this? Oh Jesus. I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Oh Jesus. <gasps> fucking 3D Allison. audio. Fuck. Wait. It felt way too real. It was us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Ooh, stop that! Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. <clears throat> what is it, Sam? Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. Oh, that's not kind of him. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh, I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your <laughs> shotgun did. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, he didn't I, uh, know about us. Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh, I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, oh. I've never been much of a reader. Huh? Don't worry, Sam. But I forgive you. I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. A fish? It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. No. <laughs> Even ha it even uh, has the thanks. recipe. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh yeah, fuse box is busted. Can you fix <laughs> it for us? Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last twenty some years. Oh, so he oh, already yeah. knows how. All right. Boxes in the barn. Oh, whoa. <laughs> we'll be right behind you. Tyler looked so mad there. <laughs> or annoyed. Yes, electricity. Here we come. Who are we gonna play as? Allison? That apology was something. Come on. We need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. 
Yeah. Oh, did they lay, lay eggs or something? Hey, the birds ate all the seed already. Can we give them more? Oh my god. Now that I think of it, I'm gonna be looking around this place and then the mad hunter's just gonna be somewhere. Like bro. Surprise motherfucker. They live in the forest. It'd be scary. Oh my gosh. This like house can do with a layer of paint. Maybe we like varnish it or refurbish it or something. I don't know all the terms. Let me look around first before we go there. Come on, Sam's waiting for us. Oh fuck! All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Did you guys hear that? I'm still getting this awkward feeling. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies? Huh? Well. Good thing I came along when I did. You know I yeah. built this here barn for your mama. You did? Holy shit. You really helped Marin. What's wrong with this? You really helped her. You really helped her out, huh? No, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was glad to help. Your mother, she No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that. It seemed like he liked her. You still have our keys? You still have our keys. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. <coughs> See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh... Fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? Of course he did, but there's only you so much you can doors? do. What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Mm -hmm. Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice. What? Little... Oh wow, they broke it. Damn it. No oh, shit. Wait. Can I go further down here? Probably not, but I just want to check. Well, at least the door is open now. No, yeah. all right. Uh, well, it's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. It's both go of on. you. All right. Clean, clean your mess up. Whoa. Creepy. Wait. Look at that thing. That looks like the Mad Hunter. Like right there in the middle of the shelves. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but... All right, let me fix it. All right, fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Uh, Mary Ann, I wrapped your, I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Pretty proud of myself for once. I've respected the right color coding. Uh, each fuse should have the right color cable. <coughs> okay. Uh, Erter heater. 
Kitchen, outlet, light, generator, heater, garage. Main range. Water, heater. What's the lower two? The generator and heater. We should probably place it. Cancel. Oh. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Which one is the garage? Garage is six. So down there. That's 15, all right. Number five is generator heater, which I assume we should probably put in. 15 amp? Yeah. And then outlet kitchen water heater. What? We have the generator. So one, two, three, and four. Lights, outlet, kitchen, and water and heat. Uh, amp still up to 120. Okay. So, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's already a 15 down there, so that already racks up to 30. So 120 minus 30 is a uh, 90. So we should probably wait. Cancel. Let me just read this. Each one needs to get one. Five and six is done. And the garage already needed 15, 15, so that's 30. Let's just place some fuses for now. 20. <coughs> 20, I don't know. Let's try this one. Another 20? And then a 30? Is that done? What? Verify panel. Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Hey, shut up. up. <laughs> did you read the note next to the box? I did. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Color coding. Oh! I'm dumb. All right, that one needs to be 30. And this one needs to be 20? Why isn't that one color coded? Wait. No, not that. I think it was a 20 we put in. Damn it. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful, you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. Oh, just, just do the so math, Allison. white is 15, so this needs to be 15, and then this one needs to be the 20, like that. Hmm? Seems good. Yes, all right, Jesus. <laughs> So I had it correct more or less. I just need to pay more attention to the actual colors. Whoa. <laughs> you damn fool. Everything okay? You uh you two look like you got this all in hand, so um Sam, did you love Marianne? Who's our dad in this game, by the way? Is it maybe Sam? You Bye. never know. Oh, he was looking at the shotgun. What was that about? I 
wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, the shotgun! We totally forgot he was all out of bourbon. Something got him. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. <sighs> Remind me to take it down later. Sure. What are we gonna do with this rack? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. <laughs> oh, huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She's she pretty artsy. Artist yeah. She was just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Maybe a car. Ooh, or a tank. Hey there, little buddy. I hate spiders, bro. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You Fine. can take them outside then. Ooh. Preda rep. What the fuck is Preda rep? Ew, what? what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story here. <laughs> I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling oh, it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Look there, that's the fucking Mad Hunter, bro. Up there. Right next to her head. All right. So what now? We have the heat and everything fixed. Oh, oh, oh. Found Marianne's stash. Strawberries? Blueberry. Oh, blueberry. Blueberry. Salmonberry. Huh. Birch and fireweed? <laughs> Bet it tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. lights out. Those are definitely <laughs> not bad. As oh, far yeah, as definitely. I'm concerned, they always were. Allison, do you know who this is? Tuna? Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but... Not but? this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Oh. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. Run! <laughs> Follow the memory. Come on, it's gonna get infected. Taylor, can you move? I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Oh, were they doing the Where nasty? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Oh, Eddie, not Sam. Shh. Over Look, there. I had to make that call. What, what are they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. Oh. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out okay. of here. What call, Marianne. though? <sighs> I said get out! Whoa. Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. 
How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Let's see. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. But what was it about? Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. <clears throat> How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait. True. When did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah. Huh. That was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had reasons. He must have had reasons. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look. I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Don't make me choose. Oh, goddammit. Um... If I remember correctly, Marianne was sad. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out. But. But. Maybe she died? I don't remember her being angry. Oh, uh, fuck it. Let's just choose. Allison's memory, because last time we took t uh, Tyler's. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. Um, right. yeah. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Yeah. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. Let's go. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. What's more important? And there was silence. <laughs> Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know oh you've God. been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. Oh, it's Tina. I, I gotta take this. Yeah. Tina? J just a sec. I'm parking the car. Who's Tina? <clears throat> Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, it's just give me a sec. <clears throat> What's up? Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got the over interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, who when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Well, oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on <clears throat> over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Um, 
fine, I guess. Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. But why do we need more time? Oh shit. This tree is marked to get chopped down or something maybe? This is creepy. <coughs> God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall with an ice pick. <coughs> oh my God, with an ice pick. Did I miss anything by going that way? Something over there. <coughs> uh, bear encounters are frequent during salmon run. Exercise extreme caution along rivers. Do not feed bears, keep all foods properly stowed and contained. Stay alert, never hike alone, make noise while hiking, bears don't like surprises. Always carry pepper spray, in case of encounter, do not run, stand your ground, wave your arms. Talk loudly and do not climb trees or poles, bears are extremely efficient climbers. In case of violent attack, what? Flight or fight? <coughs> fight back vigorously. Oh. <coughs> Sorry guys, my voice isn't <coughs> up to the best condition today. <coughs> Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Ooh, nice. Black Creek Trail. Oh, whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? You don't know who comes up here. Oh, there's Tyler. The artist really Whoa. nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. It does. Who made the other one? Let's go see. Whoa, <laughs> can I go down there? Oh shit. All right, hold up. Who did this one? Also Dorian Key. All right. Oh my God, my cat scared me. <gasps> my headphones are coming for me. Can I walk in the snow? Or on the river, I mean. No? That bridge is making me concerned. Looks like you found a nice spot. Whoa. We've been here before, right? You wanna talk? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. <coughs> Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. What's Apparently wrong, Tyler? He cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so. <clears throat> mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money, and it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. 
sorry, I didn't. So I thought you wanted Fortune to. So Fortune called. We were talking. Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah, because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know. You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's Stop, not Tyler. Then I why didn't do you keep last doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Oh. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. You're gonna sulk all day? I like this view. Let's talk about the view. Our hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Uh, you still wanna live in the wild? So, you really wanna live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? <laughs> Is it really that hard to imagine? Who's gonna visit you? Oh yeah? yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there? In the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. Uh... What? It's, it's gonna snow? You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Memory. It's Tyler. It seems like Tyler. You? Yeah. North Star. Okay. Now you're the star, and I'm the compass. <clears throat> okay. And don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay. I won't do it again. No. <laughs> kids be kids, bro. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. <laughs> Sometimes. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. We looked like... <laughs> no one else could play with us or we looked like little freaks. Yeah, let's say that. <laughs> yeah. We looked like little freaks. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. <laughs> you never wished we fit in a little more? Why? It's no, good to be really. weird than yourself. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. So, you probably yeah. made the right call. Don't be mad at us. At me. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. <laughs> but I understand his point of view as well. Isn't there a collectible here? Oh. I could look at something. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened, and Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. Way colder. I keep looking for like hints or something spooky going on in the background. Oh, Marianne was anxious about rocks falling on the road. She always assumed the worst would happen. Funny how that turned out, huh? Yeah. Let's look at this with our bro. Nothing? Alright. Isn't there something over there, maybe? Maybe we can come back in time. Squirrels. Where is he going, bro? Hey, look what I found. <coughs> what? A tree? 
Oh, carving. Ollie and Ashley. Uh, Ashley. Allison. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. <laughs> All it needs is a little update. A T instead of an O. What are you doing? Uh, is he I taking the old one out? Then, but I didn't have the guts. Oh. There, looking better already. You're right. Way what? Better. Show me. A T instead of an O. Yeah. <laughs> oh. T and A. Oh, I think my kitty is looking for some heat in this cold. Come on. So? He's sitting behind my back now on the chair. You go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Yeah. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Let's yeah. hear what he wants to say. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written oh. down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Oi. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing yeah. from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson. Uh, could I have said something? Officer Vincenzi that I'll be. Good morning, Allison. And Tyler. Hello. I'm gonna take. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. All right. Great. Shit. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll Whoa. make time if we say it's important. What's with the lag all of a sudden? Oh. Hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you needed an urgent detail. National Guard. Nothing we've never haven't seen yet. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. When we emptied his parents' house, I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so. Aw. I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, <laughs> I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. I'm not. That's good to know. Put the heater on. Jesus Christ, it's cold. You said your daughter was really good at this dish? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too, though. Can you give oh, me is that Eddie? Okay. Can I talk? Tyler Ronan. To good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That uh -huh. usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, she live with well, uh, welcome home. It's been a while. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Oh, hold up. We want to see the chief, neon lights, and smelly food. Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it's not that bad. So, is there that anything you? I can no. help with? Uh, how's your day? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. <laughs> All right. Let's rather not talk to other people about Marianne's file. Keep it as much as a secret as we can. Whoa. I forgot. Oh boy. Fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. 
Come on. Eh, uh, fuck right. off. Sorry. I'm basically always on call. Ah, yeah, of course. Well, listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did oh, you that's need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Wait, not right now. Shall we? No, wait. How are you, Miss Receptionist? Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? I'm happy to see Allison. It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were yeah. spot on. The state <laughs> needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. I loved working with those kids. It was tough work. I loved working with those kids. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Yeah. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the <laughs> first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about what is the work, JCE you know, talks when I can. Uh, what is yeah? What is the JCE? JCE. You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh, oh, oh! That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Could you go through the full details of your morning? Can I chat to you more? Uh, Chief Brown's <coughs> taking a statement, but you might be able to snag him when he's done. Tyler? All right. You ready? No, not yet. father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I will come I want to snoop. <laughs> As always. Don't mind me. Don't mind me just watching. <laughs> What's popping? Don't mind me just watching. Isabella asked to come with me. So I helped her into her coat and boots before we went out. We stepped outside. Well, it was still quite dark, but she Confirmed location? Someone. Something. Last known location. going through our mailbox. Huh. Back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. This is the report. Around her size. She no, I'm not them. ready. By the time I turned around, can I go upstairs? Hey, we don't need anything up there. Come on. That's what she said. Brah. A little kid wearing stripes. What about you? Are you sure you didn't see anything? I. No. I'm sorry. Alright. Let's just wait for him to finish up before we probably talk. Or can we just talk to him right now? You ready? Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. We should maybe wait till Look, he's done? <laughs> now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse He's me. probably gonna get mad at us. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. No, you didn't. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Ah. Oh. Motherfucker. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course. Miss we get the truth ourselves. Where were well, we? he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archives? The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Where's Isabella now? At school. She's back at her father's house for the week. Can I get Mr. Henderson's information? Let's go. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Yeah. Get me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Lake water. You know, 
Oh. Mother Nature's juice cleanse. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Behind. Bless me. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. Yeah. Another way up. Oh, outside. Greg's mentioned something? Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire. <laughs> Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh. oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Lobby. All right. Let's go. Open. Can I talk? Hi. How are you? What's up? Do you like being a cop? Oh, sorry about the dog. Allison told me about your dog. I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah. He was a good boy. <laughs> Best. Do you like being a cop? So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh, yeah. But I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. <laughs> Chief canned his ass that day. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? Dreaming of Denali, a hard to find it. Dreaming of Denali. Well, I studied to be a park ranger, and I'm hoping to do a tour in Denali. Hey, you know, I have a cousin who works in Yosemite. If Denali doesn't work out, I could see if they have any openings for you. Ooh. You'd do that? Of course. That's so nice of you. Don't make me sorry I offered. Thanks, Denise. <laughs> That'd be amazing. About the JCE? How did you find out about the JCE? Same way anyone finds anything. The internet. Google? Yeah, it took a few <laughs> Google. Before I actually went to a meeting, though. Every time I thought about going, I chickened out. I can relate. I can totally relate. Well, trust me when I say it was the right move. It is a wonderful, supportive community. Can't recommend it enough. See you. Now that we talked everything. See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Now that we talk to her again, I maybe... Chill your guava. Maybe we can go talk to him again? Yeah. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? Yeah. Did you join in the force? Greg, he's just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? People like me? Well, well yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Oh. Uh. Huh. And why not? We're shorthanded right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured... <laughs> I try the other Ronin kid. <laughs> Trying your fucking luck, bro. <laughs> like, like we said, we want to become a park ranger. Not a freaking officer. Stuck in the office all day. Well, not all day, but you know. Can I go outside? You head now? Uh actually no. Actually, no. I'm staying here. Fish, why do you care if I go? What's up? Oh, you are here. Exits. Wait, where's the first floor, ground floor? So, upstairs by the window, so outside around. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building. Yeah. But it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, yeah, you is the one to make it. I agree. Wait, really? Got a better idea? I'm a bad actor. <laughs> Aren't cops like trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Fine. <laughs> Fight with the vending machine. <laughs> Oh, play with the light switch, maybe. Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I we can try. Just go, improvise. Never mind. Wait. Yeah, that's not gonna attract much attention, is it? All 
Alright. Um. <coughs> what can we do here? Paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. It's kind of messy, but. Sure. Never mind. Let's look first before we make any decisions. Anything here? Probably not. But why can we look at this the whole time? Is that something important? Alright, um... So it's the light, it's the books. There must be something else as well. Nothing? Oh! No. Uh, let's maybe go with the paperwork, I guess. This way everybody will actually look at me, I guess. I'm not sure. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. Why? Let me just pick it up first, bro. All right, at least she went up now. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase right. will be right there. Gotcha. Don't ask me what I'm doing, you bitch. Where's winter air? Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. Wait. <laughs> ah! should be on the other side of the building. I know, I just want to look around. They're not going to notice her being where she is now. <laughs> hey, which one's Brown's car? Why? Slash is just curious. You can tell a lot about someone by the car they drive. Ah, uh, the love language of car people. <laughs> hey, which one's Brown's car? Why? I just told you. Slash his tires? No. Just curious. You can tell a lot about someone by the car they drive. Ah, the love language of car people. Oh, it's the same bearer message. Well, which one is this car? Or does he ride a bike? Uh, who's kooky enough to bike to work in sub zero weather? That would be Vincenzi. Jesus. Got a bike for every season. Name what? Too. What's this one called? Duncan Rocket. Really? <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Stay out of that trouble? Supposed to be Greg's? Oh, yeah. Well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. Was that red warehouse part of the whole chicken farm business? You know it. Oh, it's creepy. Uh, those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually creepy unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer, oh. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife channel too, you know. Serve and protect. Be safe, not sorry. Fireworks are illegal in Alaska. So that mailbox bandit struck again, huh? Apparently so. Call Chief Brown. Oh, I have his number. But I'm not going to remember it on my own. Sorry. <laughs> Anything down the under the stairs? <clears throat> Fire exits right behind me. Stop. There's nothing there. That you know of. Alright. Run! I guess there aren't any collectibles or anything? Yeah. I doubt it. Unless it's like inside. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. Come on, it's cold. Ooh. Can I thaw? Hmm. 
Can you imagine I just go downstairs? Like, boom. Boom. I was upstairs the whole time. He also has a bunch of masks. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Uh, hey, Eddie, you'll find enclosed your invitation to the annual social. As usual, I've included a plus one on, on the chance that you one day you'll use it. Elio? There's no turning back now. Honor our elders' community social to a dinner. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Please! <laughs> All right. Personnel files, department budgets, with zero case files. I still want to look really around. Wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Oh, collectible, bro. Makes me feel even worse. Huh. Hey, you. Yeah. All right. Collectibles. Oh. There we go. Now it counts. The stalwart moose. The stalwart moose is a kind and loyal animal. He always criticizes the goblins for their tricks, but he actually likes them. So he is the moose. I know it. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn Never. It with fire. <laughs> Never. Huh? The Dallas police force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. Armed robbery? There's always a choice. Uh, Caucasian, armed robbery, misdemeanor, guilty, flight to avoid perse persecution, drug dealing, or possession. Jeez. How do you want to hire somebody like that? Huh. Work history, Donald. Accountable for actions of team. Under honorable conditions from the Armed Forces of the United States of America, this is to certify that Donald A. Mert, private first class regular army, was discharged from the Army of the United States on the 26th day of April, no. under honorable conditions. Huh. Okay. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Which one is that? You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? Maybe. <laughs> I'm delighted to inform you that you have been accepted to our contemporary drama summer program. At Juno University. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? Uh oh. I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Oh god. Is he like a serial Looks liar? Like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Delivery successful. What's freaking delivery? Subject Howard's depos deposition? This one? Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> Whoa. that's a lot of money. More backdoors 3, and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. No, bro. Don't feel like that. There's a probably a reason he didn't say it. They seem like such a big team. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. He graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, we should probably get out of here. Oh, but what? Maybe there's something in Eddie's office. But I just, you, you bitch! I just was there. 
Can you get out of the doorway? Thank you. Did I miss something? I opened that. Can I look at the computer? No. Is there something else in the drawer I didn't see? Doesn't seem like it. Floating amid the proceeds, I search. The emails? Oh, okay. Let me just check the emails. Now she asked about it. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Uh, we are excited at the prospect of working with such a passionate candidate on behalf of the College of Fine Arts. Enthusiastic congratulations. We look forward to welcoming you in person. Shannon Streep. Okay. Wait. Mm. Eddie Brown, you'll find enclosed the final invoice for your resident, Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all the support you've given us over the years. Are you sure you checked all the emails? I'm checking them right now. Uh, there's an ID, Howard's deposition, delivery attempt. But what about that one? There's nothing here anymore. Can I look Brown at this really one? wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. No. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. I'm looking everywhere. Should I examine something more? Oh. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, the perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? I am. Whoops. Oh, now I can use the computer. Whoops. Nacho Mama, you hit reply all Sherlock. Man who pissed in her cereal this morning. Oh. Uh, people, we are all adults here. Whoever keeps leaving their dishes in the sink better learn to clean after themselves or I will personally stuff said culprit into the washer so they can see how it works. City Council event reminder. We would like to remind you of your upcoming council meeting on Saturday, November 20, uh, November 5th, 2015, 10 a.m. at the Juno City Council. Please remember your presence is required Wednesday, November 11th at 1300 hours. I need us all there, so speak now if you can attend and I'll reschedule. As I said this morning, we'll be talking about implicit bias. This is not punishment and has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We can all benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. I've attached some reading material we'll be discussing and I'm available if there are any questions. Whoa, Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? Whoops, I missed one. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Okay. Just then I would love to have you over for dinner on Thursday night. And I know you cannot say no to her roasted salmon. I didn't catch it myself, but it's this morning's catch. Looking forward to seeing you. Vinny, Vidi, Vicky. Tom, Vicky, from where? Wow. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, <coughs> what? What is that? Hi, Chief. Mean? Regarding your request this morning. I don't know. But there's a reference number R68653. <coughs> It hasn't been digitized yet, so you can find the paper originals in the archives for other references about the case. Transcripts of phone uh, calls have been taken out, but you can find the digitized calls through the uh, appendix. So, all right, I need to s remember that 68653. Say it 653. 
Alright, doesn't sound too hard. 68653. What? One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. <clears throat> Let's go. This place seems so cold. <clears throat> oh. Private restroom. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? <gasps> I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. Well, it's all fucked the up. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. Dum da dee do. Seriously? Go on, try. Dum da dee do. Dum da dee do. I don't think that's the right order. Oh. Dum. Da. No. Alright. The first two seem to be right. Dum. Da. Dee. Do. Yes. There we go. <coughs> Whoa. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. That's they a lot of evidence. Close files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Good luck. <laughs> Perfect. But it's six, eight, six, five, three. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What the fuck? What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. Oh yeah, true. Oh. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Uh, closed files up to 1990 have been done. Remaining closed files in lift corner. One to four a. If there's anything there. In the lift corner. So over here. All right, but I want to look at everybody's file. Nope. <sighs> Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well, uh, about that file number, I know. Huh. What was that reference number again? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. Zero five. One six eight, but what are the rest of the numbers? It's five six eight. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, it's one that's open. Oh, five six six. Oh, eight. Wait, no, that's miscellaneous. All right, I think it's this one then. No, 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 this one, six, eight. Here we go. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Uh, notified by my partner, Officer Christian Holt, of accident at 12. Uh, Cannery Road, the Lost Crossing, 8K77477. White female identified as Mary Ann Ronan, DOB. Oh, date of birth. Uh, falling over deck into lake, audio recorded tape, Brown, halt. And I arrive at the scene, briefed by Patrol Officer Jay Chan of incident. Brown located witness, minor's name redacted, Ronan, and minor's name redacted, Ronan. Oh, yeah, they removed children's names. If I remember correctly, for their own protection. I don't know if it's every case though. Children of Mary Ann Ronan. Couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of Patrol Officer J. Chan Brown, a coroner investigator. A D 
T. Diggins arrived at scene while prints a victim. Uh, crime lab Tick O. Tully at scene. Completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed wrestler shotgun. Bullets recovered from location. Barn. Okay. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even cool. if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. A uh, coroner took possession of body cleared scene. Brown interviewed children at station. Stated that after Ronan's hair was cut short by sister, Ronan Mary Ann threatened Ronan with shotgun when Ronan fled from her. She pursued ch child to the docks. Rom Ronan stabbed M. A. Ronan, who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water. Witnesses state they called 911 shortly after. Bra Brown canvassed crime scene, did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by Ronan. Presented this scene to DA. Charged Ronan with homicide. Poor kid. At least he was tried as a child, I hope. Not as an adult, because it was self defense and an accident. Alright. On the computer, you say. Alright, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Crime report. Last update. 2005 in charge e brown storage 24 hour homicide report victim information plus crime scene summary uh, autopsy report uh, 62766 so r62 am i running personal information and rap sheet all right r62 references 05 r62 766 R62 61 Is this 60 or 62? Yeah. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She Yeah. What is it? She drowned. <laughs> Stab wound was not fatal. What? <gasps> so we didn't kill her. Uh, autopsy class A date. Uh, Dr. Gray, final on 2005. Alright. Uh, female post drowning. One stab wound to assault by scissors by daughter. Bloody throat seen in mouth and nose. Cerebral edema, waterlogged lungs, pulmonary edema, and infis. In I can't say that word. Aquosum. Stomach fluid content. Clean stab wound, lift, and above PSIS appears anti mortem. Okay. Fluid in paranasal, paranasal sinuses and trachea. Bilateral pleural infusions. Evidence of fresh water inhalation. Diffuse hemal. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't hate me for not being able to say it. Other conditions contributing but not related to the immediate cause of death, natural suicide, homicide. Accident could not be determined. So they marked off homicide. If other than natural causes, how did injury occur? With scissors, victim then fell over a dock into freezing lake water. Was operation performed for any condition stated above? Yes or no? No. Uh, organ pr procurement. Technician is Silva, witnesses to autopsy. 15 centimeter stab wound, non fatal, death by drowning. Prior examination reviewed by DME, body tear, clothing, x ray, and medical record. 24 hours in hospital specimens. Heart blood, femoral blood, urine, regular number one, screen, and alcohol. She had alcohol analysis positive. Okay. So what now? 
Do I, yeah. Uh, Ronin children? Mary Ann? Uh, we already read that. Court order. 63325. Sentencing court. 63. I need to check out 05 bar 63 325. 63. Where the fuck is 63? Is it over here? 52. Those have dates. Maybe it has a date on it? Uh, Ronan children? Marianne. Uh, 0563. References 05 63 325. Oh, here's 63. Okay. Well, that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Oh, okay. Order for temporary detention or placement in the Superior Court of State Ala for the state of Alaska. Extended placement of minors named Ronan. Under 18, we have our date of birth. Have having found probable cause to support the pending petition or the minor having been determined delinquent or violation of probation conduct agreement. It's ordered that the minor is committed to custody of the Division of Juvenile Justice, DJJ, uh, for detention in a locked or secure facility such as Fireweed Residential Center for Troubled Youth. Uh, the above is supported by the oral findings entered on the record and contained in the clerk notes or as otherwise noted below. Okay, I certify that a copy of this order was sent to the Guardian. Placement of detention. Oh. All right. Put that back. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stall him. Stall him. No shit, Sherlock. Get him into his office. Say I went out for... Get him into the office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Marianne, Ronan children. Crime report, court order. We already. Here. Thank God. Oh. 0501. 0501. Whoops. Okay. 0501. I need to check out 0501 COM EBR. 0501, 0501. 0501, yes. Okay, here it is. Jesus. Unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne Child Services. What? Where are That's we? what happened. What's going on? Shit. All right. No, Jesus. What else do I need to do? Was that all? Grown children, Eddie Brown. Audio recording. Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello, I, I can hear you. It it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. Where? Home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Okay. Uh, child service? Hospital discharge? Found the recording. Remove that one, maybe. Got something. 
This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah. Oh, God. Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Proof, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Shit. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Proof. You too, sir. Mrs. Proof. Listen to Brown chatting with OCX. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. What? Too many documents? We're fine. Alright, let's. Sam Kansky? And the Ronin children, Mary Ann, Eddie Brown. Incident report. Complaint! DUI. 2014. Whoops. References. 2014-203-411 What? Is it this one? Nope. Are you finding anything? Give me a minute. Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. I know. Th Not this one either. That one? Yes. There we go. Complaint. Hmm. Nothing helpful. Oh fuck. All right. Wrong thing then. We only have so much time, Jesus. There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Incident. Here. Marianne. E. Brown. Uh, 2005, alright, 05 to 01. 05 to 01. I need to check out 2005 201 546. There we go. There. Okay. Wait, what the hell? Has it accused her of child neglect? Tessa! Of child neglect? Oh. Okay. On 031, 2005, at approximately 10.35, Marianne Ronan entered Vinnie Vidi Vicky, owned by Thomas and Tessa Vicky. Mrs. Vicky stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her missus. Vicky stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have direct eye contact at, on Ronan at all times. Vicky stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vicky if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Vicky informed Ronan that she did not, but said she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Uh, Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. She walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Vicky said that she has suspected Ronan of shoplifting before the past, notably while in the company of any, possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Jeez. Alright. I need to get moving. Shit. Oh! I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. No! Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not going to repeat myself. Please! You're a goddamn Don't do hypocrite. this. I said move it! H hey! Get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on. And consider yourselves lucky your family. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Let's talk in private. You're right family and for Allison's sake we should talk in private about what we saw our file we know about social services why why did you turn your back on her why did Tessa yes 
Tell us what the fuck is going on. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. After all of these years, you motherfucker. All right. Yes. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Yeah. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. But Tessa came to you. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Okay. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. Tessa stabbed her in the back, so you called child services. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? True. It's bullshit. Th but it's true, though. Just following the law, then. Right. Is that okay. why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. Bro. What else was I supposed to do? Support your friend. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Yeah, even started by still telling us the moves. truth. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But, but you're you adults, did. and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. I don't feel that's bullshit, Alison. Just like that, huh? Let's be nice to Alison. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. Yeah. What he did was I've asked shitty. myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. But he did what was right, I guess. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. You weren't a father to best. us. Only to Allison. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. Shit. No. Ugh. No, it's not that easy. We could get there with time. Well, he is trying. And he's finally coming clean. And he did provide us with the care we needed at the uh, juvenile center, so... We could get there in time. I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a family. big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Oh, we, I forgot about the ring. Yes. Brother and sister. Group hug? Uh, uh no. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Too early for that. <laughs> Alright, I'm really uh, gonna have to kick you out now. 
No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Them as wicked as it gets. Alright, now when is that fucking ghost mad hunter gonna appear again? Outside the window? Alright. Can we talk quickly, Eddie? Valor. What's up? Uh, I wanna put. I saw the. F I wanna apologize. I, uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? What for? Breaking and entering? <laughs> Invasion of privacy? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it was messed up. Eh, don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. And, uh, I saw the fireweed invoice. So, uh, I saw the invoice from fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. I, uh... We don't have to talk about it. Oh. Well... Uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. I'll see you around. Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Oh! Should All right. we go? Not yet. Is there anything well, else? That went better than I was afraid it would. Wait. <gasps> Can I go back to the archives? Hee <laughs> hee hee. Aww. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Do we go out here? Or... Alright, we'll go down there. Hey, Bearcup, gonna be lurking. Thank you, Toast, and welcome. By the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. So I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich. You done with your stream? Tell me why. Yeah. <laughs> we, we finally accepted Eddie. Because I saw some stuff that made me think, like, bro, he's trying his best. So why not? He tried looking after us, or out for us, I should say. You kids be careful out there, yeah? Was amazing. Yeah, just finished the game. Oh, shit. That's nice. What Get you going to do now? Out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Yep. Let's roll on. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. <laughs> Anything here? All right, no. Can I hack the computer again? <laughs> All right, let's go, Allison. Allison. Play some Mount of Centurion. Oh, that's fun. Enjoy. You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Okay. Chief Brown. Is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. What was she expecting? On, Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Yeah, Tessa. Oh god. She didn't know what she did. Veni, Vidi, Vicky, groceries. 
Thanks, Wait, I haven't played it, it in a while. Probably gonna get killed a lot. This has gotta be around eh, somewhere. don't worry. As long as you enjoy and you know, behave, you know, <laughs> like the joke I, I made earlier. Well, all right. At least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Mm, true. Given who is here, we can't count out the Emotional damage! <laughs> oh my god. Emotional damage! I need to take a breather. Always I'm gonna good. do a bit of shopping. <laughs> you look for Tessa, okay? Bish, who says I don't oh. want to shop? Alright. Let's take a look around. Jesus. Alright. Can I go outside? I want to see if we miss anything. Oh. I can't leave right now. I still gotta find Tessa or Tom. Lurk mode engaged. No problem. I'll see you later. And thank you for the lurk. I got a bull moose in my truck and a bull tag in my pocket. Who's gonna think of me? Oh. 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 That's one big ass fucking pumpkin. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison. Maybe I yeah, should pick take up some, some for Allison. Why not? Not that we actually have money though. <laughs> hey Michael, what's up? Long time no see, bro. Can I talk? Hello? There we go. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Oh. Sorry. Will she be back soon? Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Is Tom busy? How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, oh. so it's probably safe to interrupt him. <laughs> all right. Thanks, bro. Who the fuck is this? Doing some shopping? Yep, just essentials. Yep, just the essentials. Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> uh, about your hunting story. So, uh, I heard you were shooting moose outside. Oh the yeah, he's area. the he's the dude not from. Not really uh, any of your business now, is it? Come on, I'm not gonna report you, but it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh. Okay, whoops. Gloves? Why the fuck are you looking at gloves? Oh, we could use some of that at the house. I thought you were working at the diner today. No, I switched shifts because I wanted to get some sleep, but it turns out I was also scheduled to work at the store today. Oh. signatures it should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move well why don't we schedule a meeting with the alaska wildlife foundation and try to get their support look harold i have to go we can pick this up at the meeting i, I should be on my way over soon all right hey don't push me hello tyler uh, can i help you yes you can hey i hope this isn't a bad time but is tessa around today she had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. <laughs> uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported... Why was Tessa at the station? Tessa reported Marianne. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Uh, vaguely. Uh, vaguely, so yes. I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That yeah. Was between you and Tessa. No, bro. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Why was Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two, to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. 
Yes. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but... You know Somebody must have. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Thank you, Tom. Okay. The next Thank time, you. don't lie to us. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. <laughs> now, I won't you can claim say that you again. went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. We need the truth to heal. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which yeah. means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Then help now, us. You let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey, Michael. Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. <laughs> don't be late. Uh, yeah! <laughs> yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Please be like honest. Who her father might have been? Oh, they no, don't even know. Not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I could I get say. the feeling Sam might be. Because he's always there, always looking after uh, us. Look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. All right. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. <laughs> boss man. I love Allison's jacket, too. You want to help brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah, why, why not? here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Sure. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Come on, sis. Where'd that question about our father come from? I'm curious what he knows. I, yeah. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. But exactly. Besides, who Marianne is he? always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been <laughs> Mary. Yeah, but Virgin I don't think Mary. She was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Oh, me and Toast watched this movie last night. The Unholy. Oh my god. That's a fucking amazing movie. It's also about Virgin Mary, but also like Satan's Mary. Uh, uh hey. Yeah. So you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. But you won't be alone. You won't be alone. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. For me, <laughs> huh? Well, we need to get the store closed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, just go give stop complaining. Fine. Can I grab a hat or something? <laughs> As payment. That door keeps freaking me out. Is there anything here? Nothing? Alright, doesn't seem like it. Where's this? Oh. Alright, what's up, man? Alright, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh, yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? You're. 
I'm just clowning. Yeah. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. All right. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Molto aye, aye. Bene. Molto Bene. I wonder what's in that box. Open it. Uh, <laughs> Why are you laughing? I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We <laughs> called it uh, a summer snow fight. We like made there a wasn't gigantic snow? mess. Marianne was pissed. You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Oh, oh my god. Don't get too deep. Why am I standing here looking at this? <laughs> Don't ask me, bro. We could use some of that at the house. Thank you for the commands, Toast. Molto bene. Uh, no, that's not it. This box? I wonder what's in that box. That's... Why am I standing here looking at this? Bro, give me some time. Molto bene. Finally. Alright. Oh, wait. I wonder what's in that box. Hold on. Count. Let me count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 cans of Molto bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. On it. Are those one, two, three, four, five, six? Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. No. <laughs> they might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's <laughs> next? Come here and help me with this. You can wait. I'm gonna look for collectibles. Uh, no, that's not it. Why am I standing here looking at this? Because I'm looking for collectibles. That's why. Oh! Oof. I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably. But nothing I remember really makes sense, so... Oh, that's weird. Nope, that's not what Michael wanted. Ooh, cookies. Alright. Is What's that, that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. No comment. Yeah. Oh, hey. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep. Yeah, I see it. Yikes, that's unsettling. Pretty, uh... Alright. Is that the mangy muskrat? Yeah. So who's the mangy muskrat? Michael or... No, Michael would have been there ages. The f husband? Ho, ho, ho. The mangy muskrat is a lazy, cowardly creature who spends most of his time lying around in the sun, cleaning his coat. <laughs> cleaning his coat. Alright. Can Oh, I can You're sit. Tired already? No, just wanna sit. <laughs> tired already? Bruh. You're no fun. Alright, what do you need help with? What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Amazing. Look at the hair. Love it. Nailed it, right? That's beautiful. There's some proper proportions. That's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, <laughs> don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit. But, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. <laughs> a multitasker? I think you oh. made a mistake here. 
total amount should be 36. Ah, uh, how dare you, sir? What? Correct <laughs> I just don't you? want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Anything else you All need right. help with? Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Okay. You found the box of plushies? Bro. This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Restaurant door? That door? <laughs> Tired already? All right, all right. So... Eleven, I think? Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Is that right? Did I get it wrong? Michael? Hello, Michael. Ow, oh, what shit! The fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Throw him! Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Get him! Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Shoot! <laughs> yes. Gotcha. Oh. All right, all right. No! Damn, Shoot. overshot yes. it. Ah, fuck. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Lift shift? <laughs> you just wait. Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? Ooh. We'll see. Where is he? Shoot! Boom. Yes! One oh, more hit change. and you're out. Prepare Bro. to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. As corny as I'll ever be. Alright. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm telling Allison. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Then who is? Hello? There I am! Oh. No! Damn, overshot it. Ah, shit. Run, 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 run. Shoot! Boom! Gotcha! You're out. I hit you three times. Can I keep one? Oh. <laughs> In the face. Man, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's Have hit the seat. Pitches grotto. The bitches. What? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. <laughs> bitches grotto. Let me see what you've done with the place. All right, before but before I do, I'm just gonna quickly take a pee break. Then I'll be right back, guys.
Alright guys, I'm back. I quickly went to the bathroom, got a drink, got something to eat and all that. So yeah, we're back. Alright, let me just quickly stop the music. There we go. And now let's continue. Sit down and chat with Michael. Alright, before we do, let's see if there's something to drink. Oh, you see that container? That's for you. Huh? Oh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Ooh. Oh, shit. Uh... You're super thoughtful. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Well, get used to it. So why can't I take it? Alright, guess we have to sit here. Um No whoa. way. You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. <laughs> we were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. What happened? And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show, and that was it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> our feet couldn't find the floor, not our finest hour. And I'm done. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, Family she friendly. hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she didn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE. Meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me. Because no one else will. Right. I feel you. So he's LGBTQ? Have you ever been with anyone? Hey. I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. Oh, with I'm a sorry. Few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. Um, never met the right person. I've never really been with anybody. Guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. But if I met a guy I was into, who knows? Anyway. Anyway. So, you think Tom got the Tom chops Becky? to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. Not a big fan of Tessa? So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. That's fucked. <sighs> Jesus, that's fucked. Oh, Jesus has nothing to do with that, trust me. Being religious doesn't mean you gotta weaponize your religion against other people. Amen. Yeah, I hear you. Um, what about Tom politics? What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got oh, a few policy. surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I never thought about it that way. What kind of boss is Tom? So is he a cool boss? Uh... Cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. Alright. <laughs> the all right. photo? Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or. Nah, but same clan. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's your clan? Which clan? Octopus Clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? 
Yeah, we're pretty tight knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah, of course. Anything else? All right, now let's I talk to I gotta tell him. you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronan. You mean the OG Ronan? I <laughs> was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, <laughs> our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So Says who? Why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about, about the transition you. or which part? Fireweed. Yeah. The transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough, and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. <laughs> you're pretty all right. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Aww. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. That'll be amazing. Mm -hmm. There's a concept. You, you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. Well, we kind of know because of fire More weed? times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> hey, Toast. Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. He's lying. You he likes us. Kind, <laughs> You're swell, too. We're not looking for... Ah, you're swell, too. Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. <laughs> what the cat's fuck? pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. Aww. If that's something this is so sweet. In. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. Allison, you bitch! I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? No. Mm -hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Is Michael going to be our boyfriend? Oh, Michael is so sweet. We have to be nice to him. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Here we are. At the cemetery. Here we go. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. All the way to far. town? But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. A you can't miss it. Big, crooked tree? Holy I'm gonna shit. I'm going to go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Okay. It's going to be okay, Allison. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Oh, me neither. Especially after, you know. I promise Come back. after this we can chill at the house. Cool. She doesn't even I answer. I never wanted to come back here. Yeah, that makes two of us. Ooh, I'm gonna explore a bit. It's always nice to backtrack a small bit. Can I go there? I want to go see the gazeb gazebo. Where are you going? Over there. Turns into a monster. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, I wonder whose car this is. Like, that's not creepy as fuck, if you know. For a big crooked tree. That one over there. Oh, whoa, what's that? A symbol? Why can't I look at it? Oh, sorry, Allison. Oh, that's trippy. Hey, graves are back that way. Oh my god, bitch. Let me explore. So, do you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. Oh, what? Because it's a place of mourning. Monkey do. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. Oh? I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. What memory is this? Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It was just weird because we don't know any of these people. Uh, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Aww. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. In your heart? <laughs> Always. She loved us. Who best that hurt her? Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Yeah. Mourning those who have journeyed to the other side. Mawidi, Mawidi. Due to the national outlawing of native religions and ways of life, much of our knowledge of the old ways of Tlingit spiritual practice has been lost. Below are two everlasting examples of love and reverence. We continue to show our departed in the tradition of our ancestors. The four the 40-day party is observed 40 days after the passing to pay respects to the departed. Some believe this is a more recent tradition. Family members organize a shared meal where a fire dish, one plate of food, is burned to nourish and comfort the spirit of the departed. One year or more from the passing, a Q-Weeks Q potluck is held to first mourn, then celebrate the life of the departed. It is hosted by the clan of the deceased. This is to honor the departed clan member through a traditional ceremony, show appreciation and pay debts to the opposite Moedi who supported the clan during the time of mourning. <coughs> and this one. As love transcends all boundaries, the passing of a clan member is an event felt throughout the community. The people come together to mourn a loved one and lift their opposite clan member's spirit. When an eagle is being mourned, the ravens shower love and strength upon mourning eagle clan clans. Likewise, when a raven is being mourned, the eagles are there for the raven. After the service, it is customary for members of the opposite... What the fuck? <laughs> opposite Moedi to comfort the grieving family by bringing out their Atu clan-owned regalia. The symbolically catch tears before they hit the ground and comfort grieving clan members with support. That's very interesting. Did she sneeze? Is that what that was? <coughs> well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one. Phillips? Okay. Here lies uh, Robin Bicker. Look, there's Michael. Where? 
Somewhere. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. No, I doubt it. There was still a car. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Uh oh. Yassi? That's an interesting name. Andriel? What? Adriel. Adriel. Yassi. I'll have to look for the memory. Hazel Salazar? Ooh, Salazar. Life measured in memories. Oh, Salazar makes me think of Harry Potter. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Monstrous apple. He he he. Monstrous ferociously. In loving memory of Dustin Lewis. Oh shit, I should be looking more at the graves. Whoops. Ben Corrier Corrier Corriera Corriera Where's the m Oh. Alright. Wait. Let's go talk to Michael first before you know. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total. <laughs> 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 because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Yeah. Gnarl's Branch. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Oh, it sounds very cold, bro. Hey, Michael. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Donald McCarthy? Long time no see. Poor dude. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. How? Su Karnik? Sukanik? William Thomas so, Collins. How are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny, <laughs> is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. <laughs> You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Um, what was your uncle like? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? From the beginning. You, you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex <laughs> and never leaves his recliner? Oh, I'm pressing shift. I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. A loving grandpa. About this place? Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Eh, shoot. What about the Tlingit Memorial? What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost <laughs> in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. 
Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. At least that's one good thing. I'll stop bugging you. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. We're close with your uncle, huh? You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. <laughs> that was old school Clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. <laughs> I volunteer for the taste testing. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. <laughs> no, I'm promising Whoa. that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. Mm, talk to you later. That's talk to all. You, later. you bet. Alright. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd Can I open this? By now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. Tyler? What? Ah, uh, we should probably so, look at the memory, yeah. Uh, Go, Eddie. You can hold my hand if you want. I can work fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yes, please. Yeah, exactly. Maybe test us there, because there are fresh uh, footprints or checks. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. So then it's that way. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back! Whoa. Yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. All right. Show us what happened. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please don't worry about me. Oh. How could we forget all this? I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but. Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. What? What promise did I make? They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back. Let yeah, let's go with her memory. Soon, all right? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Seeing as she's so sure Kid. about it, you know. About to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that. You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever oh. gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Never. Maybe someday, but not today. Not today! You Whoa. think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. 
This spot's familiar. That's a fucking weird sound. Oh. Carol? Definitely didn't help, but no. It could have, it years later. like, triggered it. Okay. Anything here, like, Tired. secret? Of What's up? This, this is it. She's got to be here somewhere. Not this one. Still not the one. Huh, which one is it? Uh, this one? This might take a while. Oh! So this? Thank you for the commands, Toast. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> oh. You didn't have to do it all alone. They never really had time to grieve, I guess. The... <laughs> these two. Tessa? Kids. I... What? I, I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Yeah. Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Oh, take that. We could have helped her. Oh, or not report her. <clears throat> when we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Yeah. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were what? going to end up dead? No. I won't do this again. Bish, you I better talk. I to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the so end, she was high? She isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. How could she a think that, though? A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Oh. 
Does she Just know who our father is? Kansky, how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened oh, between them? Oh, shit. I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. No. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. Are we but Sam's kids? I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Why do I get the feeling we're Sam's kids? You could have done better. You did what you had to. You destroyed. You could have done better. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yeah. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. Not I know better. I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother. I was just about would. to say. I don't you're sorry isn't going to bring back our mother. Especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives. I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. Meaning? I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. You think? I'm up for a fresh start if you are. But it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. I'm done losing people. And if We've we lost can't too let people many grow, people. then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids. She was just trying I to do good. I never mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. B I hope excuse you can me. As well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Ooh, delicious. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. <laughs> I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Coconut cake, come on. Marianne. Oh. No, wait. But we didn't explore the whole place. Oh, thank God. That All was right. something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. She probably feels the same. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. <laughs> before, before we go, I just wanna explore a bit. Cause this feels like the perfect place to hide something. Where are you going? I wanna. Where are you going? I wanna go back up there. To Tessa, like where she stood in the beginning. Man, this game is so pretty. <laughs> Jesus, girl. <laughs> Is she getting sick? Achoo! God damn. Your boy got that virus. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, but can we please go back? I really feel like I missed something. You want to sit down for a bit? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's have a talk, sir. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. 
I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Thanks for coming with me. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank what you. What do you You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't blame don't. yourself. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You need a time to rest. You need a time to heal. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, all right? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. <clears throat> you're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. Yeah. But we always huh. pull through, right? Yeah. And we're always there you're for right. each other. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. <laughs> Definitely, anyway, bro. It's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh, yeah, of course. We do. So, I guess we know the story now, huh? Sort of. was done with Delos. Delos was done with her. <clears throat> but still, but something maybe doesn't make sense. Out, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And Sam? And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave what? Up, but killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. It right? does. You guys can, t I swear, you guys feel the same. It really feels like there's something missing or something we don't know. You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. Oh. It's probably always going to feel that way. But what about the memory we saw of us as kids seeing the Mad Hunter? What the fuck is going to happen with that? <laughs> Where's Michael? Ooh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better <coughs> rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. No! Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Or just take the... What the fuck? Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. What the fuck? Oh, yay. <sighs> Fucking bitch. Was that the mailbox stealer? Tyler. <clears throat> he, he looks like the dude from the picture. Are you all right? Get the How's fire! Stay there. I got it. Get the fire! Ooh. Bruh, what the fuck? Wow. And everything is fine? Wait. There, there was... A, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? What the fuck? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? You can look for clues. I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm going to find out. Alright, hold on. That damn broken door. We should Let fix him right it. in.
footprints? Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? Oh, it's boarded up he again? didn't try to get in here. Just like we left it. Thank you, Toast. Everything so? seems in fine. No seems fine it. inside. Just a bit broken down, but yeah. And the generator is fine. Let's check the front door. Is it the locked? Nothing's been forced open. So he didn't try to get into the house at all? No. He didn't. Nothing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I l mm, let's maybe wait. Alright, let's look in here. Maybe we'll find some clues and then let's go to the fishing hut. At fishing hut. Fishing shack thing. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Oh! Did he really have to smash everything? The floorboard. Hey, come check this out. There's is something that a underneath box it. Under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner what? used to be all dirt. Or chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Oh, the there's... On the tundra. There's a jerry cat. This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. He went looking under the rug? There must be a crowbar God. here. He really turned Asshole this place even dumped the down. drawers. Oh! <gasps> a collectible? <clears throat> At least you were spared. Gimme, gimme. The moon, what? <gasps> I missed one! I fucking knew it. God damn it. The moon hag is an old and powerful witch. She lures her innocent victims deep beneath the ice and traps them there forever. The other one's at the fucking graveyard, I'm telling you guys. I knew I was missing something. A crowbar. I guess we wait. know how he made the hole. Before we do that, now I'm wondering, maybe I should go check out the fishing uh, thing. Oh, he went that way? Let's go this way. Huh. If I can even hey, go what in there. What are you doing? Fish. Just chill. I'm trying to figure it out. All right. He went this way. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. What? The trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Oh. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. That must be where he climbed out. Oh, well, he's long gone. Yeah. Shit, okay. At least now we know where he went. Now let's go remove that plank. I'm curious what's in there. Well, at least he left us the junker. Hmm. <laughs> He wants to sell it for scrap. Step back. I'll be fine. 
What is it? Oh, it's well, like the I eye above the mom's door. Father to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's inside? What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really <clears throat> a numbers kind of person. Alright. This Wait. one has an eye. Look, it's the same symbol. Yeah. Secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh. The goblins earned their voice. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds. Gathering up secrets that the animals at the forest had for sale. How? said the first goblin. Does she give people secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second. And so goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and ca gazed into stalwart moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose. For the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. Oh, like us. After a few minutes, the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The stalwart moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently and the moose was forced to carry on, because they were not doing anything obviously bad. Alright, so we have two twos so far, but let's read the rest of it just to make sure. I need to know what secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So, the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess, and the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know that Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more, so the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and just managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories, and they snatched their hands back out, as if they had just thrust them into boiling water. Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, seethed the secret keeper. Give them back, the crafty goblins stopped crying, because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange, they asked. I will give you back the silver-handled hairbrush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets? Pshaw, you have to offer more than that. What if, said the secret keeper, I shared the gift of voice. The crafty goblins grew excited. That'll do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of the voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. The crafty goblins gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back to the big wooden house. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they f what they found it was blank. They tried to speak to her using only their minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not with the whole forest. And that is how the goblins stole the gift of voice from the secret keeper. But why? They, they could only use it with each other. I, the only numbers I saw was one one no two two one 
That wasn't it. That wasn't? I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. And preferably without destroying the box. No. What did I just kick? Go back. Uh, let's just quickly read through it again. <laughs> hey, toast. All right. Let me just pay attention. Hmm. Why am I not seeing them now? <laughs> Maybe one, two, two. Come on. Or one, yeah. Ugh. Any brilliant ideas? Whoops. Knowing Marianne. That's yeah, it's to do with the book. I know. Crunch. <laughs> Maybe it's the actual like book, you know. Once upon a time in the deep ancient forest. So once can count as a number, I guess. But not really. Take the second, so second might actually Probably be connected to the Book of Goblins somehow. So it might be two. The Washington heard her, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two. Toast, what are you eating? Or did you take crunch because of the dragon? Uh, two, one. Wait. Did I try two, two, one? Uh, All right, no. Any brilliant ideas? Knowing. Uh,
Bruh, am I fucking stupid? How am I not seeing any numbers? Once upon a time, one, two, one, I there don't know. I am. It's probably connected to the Book of Goblins. Uh, any brilliant ideas? There I am. It's probably connected to the Book of Goblins somehow. Well, duh. Uh. Sorry. Let me just think. Once. First. There's not even page numbers, bro. Hmm. All right. Wait. What, what? I'm such a fucking dumbass, bro. Are there any numbers on the pages? That looks like a number. Three. No. One, three, zero? Let's try that. Cause then I tried the numbers in the book. That did it. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Alright, we got it. That's all that matters. Jesus. Lord have mercy. Fuck. That's rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. This this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. But right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can and to help you to do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Okay. Wait, why can't I move? Oh. I think she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Delos Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we were together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot of t to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol? Yes, I bought you a little something for next time. Can't wait to see how it looks on you. Alright. But who was this mysterious guy? That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. Yeah. Uh, he came... He was wearing fishing gear. He was we wearing fishing gear. S so, I... I think he was wearing fishing gear. Fishing gear? Does that mean? Let's not jump to any conclusions. Half the town's probably got the same gear. Yeah. Hello? Is this the night we killed mom? Why are we seeing this? I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. 
But you know what happens down there. Would have the to. Thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. This is where I trip. Okay. Mad Hunter. What? Wait. There was some. I saw the Mad there? Hunter? In the woods? No. It was just. I, s I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? You have to remember. Who is it? That Couldn't was the Mad been. Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it well, was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. <laughs> and wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? Yeah, in the a few house. few days before Marianne died? We Maybe. saw him. Hold on. Do you feel that? Where's this one? To the front? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What do what you if mean? It's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and, and that we're means trying we've to got figure to be close to something. Is. I'm not going on that dock. Then you don't have to. Even after what I did for you? After what I did for you? You're really gonna say no to this? Well, no, but I just can't keep doing this. Every time we think we understand, something new pops up. This might be our only shot we to figure to out who our father is. Who gives a shit about that asshole? I have a father, and I almost lost him because you won't stop. Don't blame me because Chief Brown fucked Marianne over. We need to know the truth. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No, you don't have to. You just to. push and push and. You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But did I, to I him. swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Come on. Trust us. Come on. We can do it. Oh my god. Why can't I do it? Is there a voice disappearing? Marianne, you have to help me. <laughs> Twin catastrophe, yeah. Come on! Oh, finally. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! I don't want mom to catch us out of bed. All the way over here? I told you, 
I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. Our sister's holding us back from remembering. Allison, don't fight. Oh. I don't owe you anything. He's been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? His voice sounds I've just been trying familiar. to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. But what happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Sister, do it for us. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> You're not a bitch, JK, but just help us. I'm sorry. But I'm done. What? That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Uh-huh. Don't go. Please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. We're your brother. Trust us. Lies. That tear would have freezed on her face. Don't tell me this is how the chapter ends. <sighs> what the fuck? Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! <gasps> it's the night! Can it you happened. hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything. Oh, but it's right like now, a rain jacket you. or something. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? Is that our dad? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Whoa. Allison! No, 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 don't run! Oh my god, is Allison fine? So that my no, I fuck. I'm a shower quick BRB, no problem. That's legit how it ends this episode. Oh. What the fuck, guys? I wasn't expecting that. Are you kidding me? So what? Is Allison actually crazy? Did those words? Like set her off. Uh, man, I'm so confused. Anyway, Tyler felt Allison discarded his feelings when choosing her memory at the house. Tyler didn't feel heard about needing time when Allison accepted the house. Allison felt hopeful about becoming family with Tyler. We forgave Eddie, accepted Michael's compliment. Yeah. We forgave Tessa. And that's all. <coughs> mm. 
<clears throat> There's Ooh. something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Oh, Let's whoa. Go. <clears throat> there she will. She finally found happiness. This is what it's saying on top of the window. Above the window, I mean. What the frick? Alright. Uh, let's go find that one last collectible. This one. Replay. One. Oh, chapter two. Where the stranger last writes? Uh, I think it'll probably be the last writes because we missed something there. We play in isolation mode. Your progress is in isolation mode, will not be saved and won't be override your save game. You may use this mode if you want to replay a scene without altering your save or search for missing collectibles. Uh, yes, please. I don't want to change anything, I just want the collectible. Here we are. Alright, this time let's go towards Tessa. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. Or... Mm, anyway, can't I don't put know. the wind in a bottle. Oh, we can skip. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's skip, because we saw that. You look pretty um, spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. One thing Especially that didn't make sense to me was the carol. I promise after carol? this we can chill at the house. Cool? Like, um, <clears throat> at Carol's grave. I think she was Carol. We saw her mom crying. What was the point so of that? So, do you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Funky C, Funky do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? Mom, why do we always come here? Let's just Does it bother go you? through it. No. To trigger it's something, maybe? Because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hi. Yeah. Hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes. Even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved okay. us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing Where was Carol's? Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. Do you think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Isn't there? Where was it? Do not slip on graves. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Salazar. Look. There's Michael. Oh no, Yassi. Yes Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie yes trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh yeah, and he always blasts the horn. De Leon. There we go. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. No. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Okay. Oh, there we go. Do you really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. 
I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. Hmm. The day of the funeral. I barely remember. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, oh. I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah. yeah. You remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water. Uh, Allison, please. I'm Sorry, I'm going. interrupting you, Alice. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. Was it over here? Afterwards. You and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Hmm. This spot's familiar. Oh. There is something there. Liars. Alright. Because I know the figures are people. <laughs> so maybe Carol was one? But I don't see anything. I forgot how hard Marion took it when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four. But yeah. No way. The fuck? Our box is still here. We didn't I, oh. Alright, like we got it, guys. Let's listen it to it quickly. The very old beaver. Aw. The very old beaver is a helpful and industrious creature. She is the princess's most loyal friend. Oh, Fuck. Alright. Well, in the next episode, it seems like there's only gonna be three. I can't wait to see who they are. But now we found the last one. Anyway. This is gonna be me for today, guys. Or for now, at least. I might stream a bit later again. But I'll let you guys know on my Discord server. So please, uh, you know, if you like, share, all that, follow, if you, you know. <laughs> and please go check out Flesh Toast Live. He supports me a lot, as well as my uh, brother, E.G. Snaps. They both play amazing games. My brother actually plays Minecraft a lot, and he's very good at it. Like, holy shit. And Flesh Toast, he's playing some awesome games. He actually finished Mortal Shell earlier today. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I might see you guys later. I'll let you know. I'll pop my links in the chat for you. My socials as well as my Discord. And that'll be me for now, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, or night wherever you are in this beautiful world. And I'll see you guys. Bye! Princess underscore gummy underscore bear says, thank you bear cubs for joining me today for tell me why chapter 2.